All right, friends, welcome back to Enshrouded, and we have entered the end game. We are in the final episodes of what I consider to be this series. So we're gonna do some house cleaning right now, and then we're going to go and see if we can get the beehives today. But the first thing I wanna do is upgrade our flame, because we have everything we need to upgrade this flame. I've been farming, I've been doing all the things and getting all the stuff for this particular moment. So here we go, we are gonna strengthen, and I believe this to be the last level that it can actually be. I don't think it goes up any higher than five. Am I wrong? Oh. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe <laughs> there is more. Does that say lapis? There's lapis in this game? All right, you know what? I retract my in-game statement. Maybe we're in like the, the mid-late game? I don't know. All right. That was item number one. Item number two, and there's some of that lag again that, like, I never experienced until the last update. Now sometimes it gets a little laggy. Um, but the next one thing we want to do is assign XP points. So I went around on the map, and let's go to the map here. I went after every one of these elixir wells and shroud roots I could find. Like, every single, you just see these check marks. I had not done, oh, there's another one right there. Um, I had not done them yet, so I went around just hunting them all down. Ooh, there's another one. So I still have some more I can do, but what that did for me was give me 23 experience points for me both leveling up and getting the Shroud Roots. So, with that said, we're going to go ahead and unlock the dessert. Unlock that. The other thing I wanted to do, so now we should be able to have an additional food slot, but I don't know if you can stack the same type of foods or they have to be different. So I want to see that. Um, the other thing is I want this updraft. So it gives you the ability to kind of boost your flight uh, by kind of giving you a draft and pushing you up higher. So I want that. And then this tree right here distinctly gives you the ability to add... Uh, range damage by 5%. So I think we need to focus on this one. I don't think we're going to make it all the way up here. And these are not actually great skills. So like this one's good. That's an extra 5%. But scoring a critical hit with a bow, you generate 20 stamina. That one's okay. Restores 5... Well, I guess these are both all right. They're just really expensive. So we definitely want to get that additional damage though. So, infuse your range explosives with mana. Hmm, no, we'll pass on that one. So this is actually like a team bonus. Actually, I think we're gonna stop. Looking at this, I think we'll stop. None of these actually seem that good to me. We still have six points. This one will actually give us a chance to get additional resources when we're mining, and this one could help us cut down trees a little more. I thought there was one that gives... Oh, you know what? We're gonna go with these. So this will give you more time in the shroud. So this will give us two minutes here. And then this one will give us five more minutes. So we're going to have a ton of shroud time now, like literally a ton. And that was perfectly eating up all of our. Yeah, look at that shroud meter going up by itself to 16 minutes. I mean, that's a long time to be in the shroud. And now I want to test out this food because my hope is that I can eat this chicken and this grilled meat and all of these food items. So let's let's give it a test. It will not. It will not let you double up on the same type of food. So I think what we're going to do is go with the boiled eggs. Because if you look at the boiled eggs, they give you like a perk to everything. So I open this because I just want to throw this meat in there. And then let's go ahead and make these boiled eggs. And I'm just going to make one so I can see if I can actually eat the thing or not. I can so that's going to give us just a regenerative boost. So I think we'll go with that. We'll go ahead and make a bunch of eggs. We have our four food slots now. We've got our upgraded altar. We assigned our points. Uh, I just want to point out a couple things that I did to the base really quickly. So I wound up making some of those super large chests, but just for the areas where there's these one-offs. Downstairs, we have the double chest that you guys saw in the last episode, but I did want the larger ones for there. The other thing I did was put wells around. So we have this well right here. We have this well right here. 
We have a well at the back of our base. Look at all this sugar cane now. Just swimming in sugar cane. There's so much sugar cane we got trapped. We've got this one, which has no water available to us right now. And then we have one more in the back area. And as you can see, I've been planting like mad. Okay, next up on the agenda is a new outfit. So it is time for us to create a new outfit with even more perks and more damage from our bow. So we actually have the ability now to make the hunter set. So we're going to go for it. We've got everything we need. We should have enough materials. Um, I'm just going to try to make it and hope that we have enough. We did. Okay, good. Before we actually put all that on and check it out, the other thing is we can make the newer glider too. So he had, oh, and he has something to talk to us about. Okay, so he gave us a bridge construction report. And here we go with the new glider. So we're going to go ahead and make that because we have everything we need for that too. And that is a legendary item. So we're going to go ahead and equip the new glider. We're going to equip our new gear. Take a look at what we look like. Oh, we look good. We look real good. All right. And then we are, let's see what this glider looks like. All the gliders kind of look the same. I don't know what I'm expecting, like some super cool looking glider, but they all look kind of similar. I'm going to throw this gear upstairs real quick. Okay, and like I said, we're going to go to a new area. Now, I peeked there, but I couldn't actually enter it because there was Red Shroud, which is why we just upgraded our Flame Altar so we can go into the end game. So I did pick up a few things. We got this Sand Digger meat. I have no idea what that even is. It was just laying on a table and I grabbed it and unlock some new recipes. We got sandstone, which is a new material. We got sand, which is a new material. We've got an explosive grenade now, and we got palm wood. So I did wind up grabbing these things when I was peeking at the spot, and that's where we're gonna go right now is to look at that area. I didn't check the oven to see if we can craft something new in here. Nope, still just one recipe, and it requires flour, which we don't have, but all right. Now that we're back in our map, we are going to go all the way up here to the ancient spire of the Nomad Highlands. And we're going to see what this boost jump's all about. So this is the new area right over here. Let's give this boost a try. Oh, wow, that's quite a bit, actually. I didn't think it would be that high. We've got plenty of stamina, so we're all good there. And that is a new creature. And that's a cactus. I have not seen it. This is where I was, but it was at nighttime. I don't know how dangerous that thing is, so I just want to drop it right away. Oh, I just realized we don't really have that many arrows. So, oh, these give us five feathers. Oh, hopefully we see more of those things. All right, let's check this out. What does this give us? Just plant fiber? That's it? What about that? What is that? Okay, that's something new. Oh, we're getting paintings now? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, paintings is cool. Okay, see, I was here at night, so I missed a lot of these things. I wound up picking up that palm wood, but I'm assuming... Oh. We unlocked new recipes, too. I'm assuming this is where the palm wood would come from. I want to confirm that, though. Yes. Oh, now we have a fruit bowl. Oh, we got... Because we got some kind of fruit from that. Why is he running? Dude is running. Have we become that vicious that they run? Okay, so what actually gives us the, the palm wood then? Oh, it did. But that one did not, huh? Yeah, that one just gave us yakka fruit. Which is bringing me back to my seven days to die experiences there. But yeah, let me let me hack these down real quick. Well, that one even gave us resin. These are like a treasure trove. The other thing is I made sure I have altars. So we've got four altars we can place down. So we're, we're definitely good there. That dude's chucking along. I'm not even going to bother with him. But we need feathers because... We're kind of at that place where we can't really make a lot more arrows. 
But hopefully with this new set and everything, we're not going to need to make as many arrows because... Ooh. Yeah, I was going to say there were people up here last time. Oh. Oh, the guys even drop feathers. And that raw meat, too. Okay. Good to know. So we definitely want to come here and take these guys out from time to time. We've got a repair bench. We got even more guys. Yeah, it does seem like our arrows are doing a lot more damage than they were before. I could say for sure that the loot is better here. Okay, let's see if this is a different material or if this is just sand. I didn't know what this red stuff. So there's sand and there's sandstone. But it looks like it's super easy to mine and get. And what are these little nugget things? Is that just... Well, there's dirt road block here too. Okay, and we just unlocked something new. So we must have got something new right there. Oh, I think it's that sulfur. Oh, so underneath the sand, you can find sulfur. That's that's good to know, too. Just this one spot of coming in this new area has unlocked so many new goodies. And that's exciting. Look how much XP we're getting for mining this. And you mine it so quickly. So maybe this is like a way to like level up really quick at the end game. Or maybe even early on. Because you can actually come over here... We could have come here before, we just couldn't have gone past this area over here. Ah, oh, Of course. Hopefully our eggs are still active. Yeah, look at how fast we're regenerating health now. That's pretty nice. That is definitely pretty nice. The sugar just doesn't last though. Okay, so yeah, I could not come over here before because this was all covered in red deadly shroud. Well, we've got 16 minutes worth of shroud now, so we can come over here all we want. But actually, we need to head... Let me make sure I'm marked on the right location. So it looks like we're going to have to go to this thing anyway, so we might as well head there. And just like that, we're out of the shroud. Look at this place. This is cool, man. This game is amazing. Like, I keep saying it, but I can't say it enough. This game is just so cool. Okay, there's a camp here. What's that? Glass shards. Oh, we did get some glass in the last episode too. I don't remember where I got them from, but I did pick up some glass. I think one of the enemies had dropped it. Picked up an experienced scroll. I'm gonna go ahead and use that right now. Okay, I didn't really see anything at the camp, so we're gonna continue on. Oh, there's some exposed sulfur here. Oh, there's a tower here too. Look at this place. This place looks pretty stinking cool. New location. I don't like the fact that it gave me a respawn point. Usually those checkpoints just mean like something bad is probably about... The yeah. Yeah, he's 23, of course. Did he just jump? They can jump now? Oh, oh, this is not good. Let's go up here. I feel like I'm always running from these guys. Let's see. Look at him. Look at him just going absolutely berserk because he can't kill me. He's so fast. Yeah, dude is angry. As I miss every single shot against this guy. Wow, he almost got up here, too. <laughs> I 
two metal scraps, all that, and two metal scraps. Okay, let's let's keep focused. It's starting to get dark. So this is a new location. It looks like the green spiky guy is probably just my new level of enemy. And I'm just going to have to deal with it. It says we're kind of close to where we needed to be for this thing. Lots of really cool things to look at. Unfortunately, lots of enemies to deal with. Or maybe fortunately, since we're going to be leveling up for sure. Alright, we leveled up. Okay, so I'm looking at the journal. It says the Beehive Smoker. And I push show... Up. I'm going to make it my active quest. Push it on the map. I think it's this. No, it, it's just pulsating right here. So, I'm in the area... I wonder if there's just something I need to find. Okay, it says I need to go back a bit. Well, let's go back. I think maybe it was up here in this first half, and we just missed it. So it says location above. I should have had it as the actual quest. Wow. That was pretty cinematic. Got really nice furniture here. Okay, this is still the quest. And it says the location has been reached, but I have not been able to find whatever it is that I'm looking for here. I'm wondering if there's like a way upstairs to the top of this building. And we finally found a buildable. I've been complaining for a while that I haven't found any buildables, but we found one. Okay, as expected, it's not here. It's going to be in a different location. Well, actually, that's not even it. That was... I think that was for a different quest. It still says it's here. It's, like, emanating right here. Okay, I've pretty much decimated this place, so... I don't know that it's actually in this building. It could be, like, around here or something. So what am I missing? Let me read the quest again. Maybe there's a clue. Oh, wait. Is it just this board? Wow. It was just the board. <laughs> okay. We're back on track. L let's head in this direction. See if we can get to this thing. It's pretty far. But we'll see if we can get over there. So these dudes seem to be like all over the place around here. And for whatever reason, they're not happy to see me. I have a feeling we need to go up somehow. Okay, we're making good time. We're making good distance. It's not that far away. We are deep in this new area. I think this would probably be a good spot to throw down some... Some spawning. We actually probably could have did that before. You know what? Let's, let's get to where we're going, and then we can throw it down. What is that thing? Like an armadillo? It's really slow. Oh, that's what that thing is. Um, we need to be able to get those scales, right? Okay. Ooh, we unlocked the new helmet at the blacksmith. So it looks like we need to get over on the other side and then get up a bit, probably to that thing. That's where I'm guessing it is. I don't know what those things do. I don't want to give them a chance to do anything to me, but it seems like they want to do something. Like they want to spit fire or something like that. But we are definitely headed toward that castle looking thing right there, I think. Oh wait, maybe we're only coming right here. We are really running low on arrows now. We're down to 30. It says location reached. What is that green thing? That just broke out of there. 
Green fabric. Okay, that seems odd. I'm not seeing anything here. I'm wondering if it's just kind of around this area or something. Okay, I'm just going to break everything down and just see if maybe I'm not getting something I'm supposed to be getting. Okay, I literally tore this whole thing apart. I don't see what I'm supposed to be looking for. Unless it's this red glowing stuff right here. No, these are just bodies. Oh, that was it. Or maybe I just needed to come to this spot. Well, they have honey on them. And and these look like honey jars or something? Okay, these little honey jars give you like wax and honey. Okay. It's a little further up from us. Oh, we've like exited the sand area. How big? Oh, this gives us a chance to put down an altar. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Now we can travel here. So that's good. And I'm going to go ahead and just get the five stone now. So if we need to make another one, we can do that. We don't have too many resources. So I'm really hoping that when we get up here, we can just get to this beehive. We're looking at 22 arrows. Our sword's about to break. This is going to be like a dash and, and run. Oh, the bears took it. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to make a run for it. What's up here? Just lava. This is a really cool area. We'll definitely be coming back here to finish off all these bears and explore their camp. Sacrifice Hill? Oh, it's one of those dudes. Oh, he probably has it. Right? Yeah, he probably has it. Because I don't think it would just be sitting here somewhere. No. Yeah, it's not in there. Holy cow! Okay, he's never been able to do that before. I just don't think I have enough arrows to kill him. No, I don't. Now, I do have some of these poison arrows. I don't know how effective they are against him. Well, they do a lot of damage. We have a cu couple of cluster bombs here. I'm just looking for anything to finish this guy off. I mean, we could go down there and just try to attack him. I'm just pretty sure he's going to kill us. I'm sure it's called Sacrifice Hill for a reason, you know? I don't even know if this sword is doing anything to this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's so many guys here, too. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to retreat and then come back with some arrows. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I think I'm going to put a chest here at the front door where when I come back for certain things like this, I can just kind of throw things in and then sort them later on. OK, how many arrows can we actually craft here? That gave us 200, and I've got a few up here. And then we'll go ahead and push it to daytime real quick. We'll go right back and see if we can't get ourselves this uh, beehive. Yeah, let's see what he's sitting at. Yeah, he's fully back to full health. Although, if he's just going to sit in there... I don't mind one bit. I don't know how he got up in there, but none of his guys are around, and I'll just take full advantage of this. Okay, that's it. Please tell me you have this honeycomb. 
bee smoker. I'm assuming that's what we needed. Okay, and then because we're all the way out here, I've never been like this far out to the edge of the map. I wonder if we just keep running this way a bit. What's at the edge of the map? So there's some more deadly shroud over there. Okay, I'm going to gather up the stone. Because looking at this area right up here, it seems like this is just another good spot to go ahead and throw down another altar. So we can just quickly get back to this area. Because I can see the tower over there, but there's also this village. I have to believe that this deep into the map, there's going to be things here that we need. Wait, now there's scorpions? Ooh, they take a lot of damage. Oh, it looks like they do poison damage, too. Oh, that's where the scales came from. Or another source of them, anyways. Yeah, this just seems like a really good spot to put down another altar. Alright, we've got some more fast travel spots. I figure I'm here, I might as well kill some of these birds, because we need some more arrows. So their attack is like a claw attack. Oh, we got a desert flower. I don't think we've had that before. But with that, I think we'll head home. All right, and she's got something to talk about, which I'm sure is the beehive. Happy to see you. All right, we've got new food. We have a new sweet. We have a new liquid. Yeah, we've got all kinds of new things. Oh, so we can't actually make the beehive because we don't have straw. But we did, we did unlock it, so... Guys, thank you for joining me today. Like I said, we are in the end game now for Enshrouded. I've really been enjoying this season and this series. And thank you guys for being a part of it. And I'll see you in the next episode of Mining Positivity. Bye, friends.